Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today, I am going to talk about object. What is object? What are the real implementation of object? And why is so much important in any object oriented programming? But before going into the deep discussion of object, I would like to know, do you really know what is class is? Because class is only the starting point for creating any object. So you should know what is class is. I already explained the class in the previous video with the real world example and even you can understand in a very better way once you watch that video. So class is nothing but it's just a blueprint or the master copy using which we can create any object. So what is blueprint? Blueprint is nothing but it is design it means you have created, you have designed, you planned some design how the object will be going to look like when it come into the real world. So hold the design, hold the structure you prepare in a, some piece of paper or in the, some software. So once you prepare that design, you are going to give to the manufacturer company or any company which is going to develop or create in the real world entity. So what they will do, they will refer to that design all blueprints how, the, how they are going to show their object look like. So by looking that, they are going to create a real world entity that we call object. So what is object? Object is nothing, whatever you see which is physically present around you, that is considered to be any object. So we can say that object is just a real world physical entity. Whatever it is present, it is considered to be any object. For now, I assume that you are watching my video, this video in either in the mobile phone or in the laptop. So what is that? Mobile phone and the laptop is also considered one type of object. So how it get created? So the very first step that company which created or manufactured that mobile phone, they must have some idea so how this mobile phone going to look like they must have some blueprint okay they must have some design by looking that they created this mobile phone so it is very important that for creating any object you should know the blueprint or you should know the master copy or the whole structure how it going to be look like when it is physically come into the existence that is nothing but you need a class that's why it is very important you should need a class for creating any object even in the real world, even in the Java also. So that is important. So we can say that without class, we cannot even to create any type of object. All right, friends, I assume you might got some understanding of what is object and class is. Now come move into the further. There is two important thing the object have. What is that? It, it has the state and the behavior. You might wonder what is a state and behavior but before going to into the deep you just keep in your mind that anything which is physically present in this world is having two things a state and behavior even you consider yourself you also have the state and behavior now come into the important point what is a state is what does a state signify here what is the meaning of a state so state is nothing but it like it is a property or the data you can using which you can identify any object. Okay, it's just a property or data you can use it to identify or separate any object. What? All right, friends, I would like to give you the real world example of state. What state is? So for instance, I consider one object. I have one object here with myself. Yes, this is a laptop. This is one kind of object. So if you look into that, there is something which is very common here. It has some brand name, it has some model number, it some has some color. So that is, and it also have the price. Even you go outside and try to purchase or either from online, you can see there's a price. There must be, you have to pay, at least you have to pay, then you able to purchase this object or the laptop. So what is that? the price, the brand name, the model number, the color. These are the four things or the data which represent this object. So this is nothing but it is a state, a state of this object laptop. All right friends, so what I explain you what is a state is. Now come to the behavior. 
what does behavior means what is the meaning of behavior so behavior is nothing but it is a kind of action or the work that object can perform so in my case i consider i give you the example of this laptop so in this laptop you can perform a different type of works or the actions for example you can listen the music even you can watch the videos you can browse the internet you can write anything in the notepad or any things like that so these are the feature or the functionality that object contains in my case this these are the function that laptop object contains so that is the behavior of object so in the simple term what is behavior it is just action or the work performed by any object that is considered to be the behavior all right friends i assume you got some understanding of what is a state and what is behavior of any object now come into the java in the java we have class and we have object in the class what are the things it is required, required? the very first thing is there you might see it is a variable contains some variables it contains some methods it contains some constructor these are the three important things that cl any class can have so what is variable here variable is nothing but a state whatever i discuss earlier that is only a state or the data which represent any object so these variables is considered to be the state or the data for any object now their class also have the method what is method method is just a behavior or the action performed by any object so that method represent what are the action that object can perform so these are the two things which is related to java how it is use it uh, these are the things so it is in the java like a state and behavior now how any object got created in java in the java we have one line of code using which we can create any object so before going into the this discussion i would like you to assume same example what i have given you earlier the laptop example so now i want to create any object or the laptop object so what are the very first thing what is required yes it is required a class or the blueprint so you must have the class in the java or the in eclipse editor so that you are you are going to create any object so it is important you must have the class once you got the class you must have to write a one line of code that is laptop some object variables equals to new and calling one constructor default constructor of laptop. so once you written this line of code then jvm will understood that his responsibility to go and create the object so once this line get executed it will go to the jvm and jvm it will start to check out the uh, what is the blueprint what is the class for this object what are the functionality what are the variables should this object contains one get it get created so that's why and you can consider that jvm is like a manufacturer manufacturer which must have he or she must have the blueprint or the master copy using which he can create any object so once you declare the class and once you written this line of code new uh, object uh, constructor of object calling constructor of object statement then it will automatically create the object with the help of jvm you must note that note on that jvm is playing the important role here jvm is only the manufacturer who is going to create the object so it is very important you should know who is the creator of any object in java so what is that answer is jvm jvm is responsible for creating any object in java so this is this is all the things how the object is getting created in the java one more important things once the object is get created it has stored the address of that object in the object reference or the variable you have written this line of code laptop some object reference equals to new laptop calling constructor so this reference this reference in contain the address of that object so you be using this reference you can call any methods or any variables so uh, you can use it in anywhere with the help of this address because it is giving the address where that object is stored so in the java the object is stored in the heap memory 
there is a one in memory where the object got stored once it get, get created so this reference is pointing to that object address so it contains the address of that object so you, if you want to call or perform any action of on that object you need to use this um, object reference and even you can call the method whatever the methods or the actions or the functionality declare in the class so with the help of this you can easily call and achieve any type of operation so this is all about the object all right guys i try to explain you about the object in a very simple terms i give you the real world examples so that you can easily understand what is object is but still if you have any queries or if you have any doubt so please feel free to ask me you can comment down in the below whatever the queries you have i will be love to give the answer and i hope you enjoyed this video so thank you so much for watching this video see you soon thank you thank you so much